One of the best ways to get into a woman's mind is simple, bro. Be the forbidden fruit. What a lot of a, a lot of guys on YouTube that talk about retention. I noticed something. A lot of niggas, all of these guys that talk about retention and taking care of yourself, we all have one thing in common. And what is that one thing? We have the godlike body. All right. One of the easiest ways to get into a female's mind without doing too much, without, and I'm not talking about a female that you know, I'm talking about just random women, period. You know what I'm saying? Like from all over, bro. You as the guy got to be the forbidden fucking fruit, bro. You got to have you got to have that type of fruit that's like nigga ain't nobody you can't find this shit at just no any tree, nigga like nah, the fruit essentially coming from the tree of life, what? Holding on to your seed, retention. Nigga, you be that they're going to be all over you, bro. It's simple. What to it do is your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber. Like the video and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this matrix. So I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, that's what we do, dog. We work on ourselves every single day. So with that being said, the reason why I say we work on ourselves every single day is because, you know, your boy... Your boy got to keep up with the God body, dog. You feel me? I got to keep up with it, bro. This shit do not stop. Dog, fellas, let me ask you a general question. Are you guys tired of being on your Instagram and scrolling and you keep seeing bitches twerking shit like that and bitches uh, dressed half naked? And then when you go out into public, aren't you tired of the thirst trap dresses and, and skirts and fucking... Whatever the whatever pro provocative that these women put on, like, aren't you tired of like seeing that shit? And you know these type of women want the attention, but they want the validation. But then when you try to go to try to touch the fruit, or you feel me, pick at it, it's like, uh, shit, that shit, nah, bruh, bruh. It's like you, the fruit want to act all bougie and shit. Like, oh no, no, you're not healthy enough. No, you're not. No, you're not fine enough. Like, bitch. I bet I got something for you. I right? fuck that. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the tables on your ass. I'm not looking for that shit no more. You wanna know why? Because I'm about to internalize all that energy within inside me, nigga. You become that energy. You become the forbidden fruit. You become the person that is not constantly mixing and matching, matching with all these lower vibrational motherfuckers, nigga. You gonna stand the fuck out. When you work on yourself, when you retain your energy, like seriously retain your energy. Let me put in a side note real quick. Um, One of the YouTubers I was watching, like he made a good fucking point and I never thought about this shit, but he was like, you know, the benefits of retention is good, but if you do retain, if you do retain uh, retention for like two weeks and then stop, you are actually kind of taking steps backwards because you are it's it's a lot more harder for you to get going on like a real streak. So I know a lot of a lot of times in my videos I say, man, go on go on retention for two weeks a week, da da da. But I mean, essentially to each his own, but if you really, really want to have the accumulate the benefits from semen retention, that's why I say 60, 90, at least a hundred days. You know what I'm saying? That's when that's when everything starts to really accumulate. Now, with your, when, when you're talking about the body, right? Your body has quick re uh, recovery time, all right? Your thoughts, your mind moves way more, sm uh, well, not just smarter, but faster, right? And then your body literally starts to look like, almost like a, a, a real life avatar, like, if you are ever around a female that's been checking you out, or not even been checking out, checking you out, but just knows like, okay, yeah, this nigga, he has a nice body, da da da. It's one thing seeing it on a picture, but the second that you're around her type of shit, and it and like y'all just cordial, cause there's ways where oh shit, you gotta take off your shirt. Oh, here, let me get nigga. That's that the second you do that shit and she's into you, bro, she goes crazy it is the forbidden fruit nobody is touching and doing the most 
So everybody and their mama is going to want to do the most, bro. Become the forbidden fruit. I say that shit in all of my videos. I'm tired of these. A lot of these women, bro, they send a message with their bodies. But then it's just like they just want the validation from these niggas. They just want the attention. Now, we as the guys, we're not doing it for validation or for attention. We just understand how the game is. We got to even out the playing field, bro. That's just, it's just that simple, brother. It's that fucking simple. As guys, you know, just being like, for, for one, if you know anything about yourself, knowledge yourself or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? You know what your strengths are. You know what your weaknesses are. With that being said, if you understand like your energy and you can manage your fucking energy, nigga. Before you know it, bro, like, everything will start to literally vibrate to how you want it to vibrate to. Bro, become the for forbidden fruit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Have, like, a consistent exercise regimen where your body becomes godlike, where it literally looks godlike. Like, I can stand up and I can show you my ass, but it's a, it's a bunch of niggas on this channel. So, I know y'all don't give a fuck about that. But I'm just letting y'all know, like, I've been able to continue to cultivate my energy, work on my body, and going back to the body, even when I have like a slow week or maybe I, I probably hit the gym three times, you know what I'm saying? That's considered a slow week. But if I, I know if I put my mind to it type shit, like it results happen. You have that extra life force energy working in your favor at all times when you retain your fucking energy, dog. So I don't want to say a, so one guy is better than the next guy, but I'm just letting you know, if you do retain your energy, work out, and you eat right, you vibe, everything you do hit different. Everything you do hit different, brother. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even on no homo shit, bro. Yo, you can have the smallest whatever in the world. You can have the smallest dangling in the world, my nigga. But if you have cultivated energy. Nigga, all of that shit, you can make you can make you can flip that shit and make it work in your motherfucking favor, bro. You don't, you're not insecure about shit anyway. Cause everything that you're doing, essentially when you're when you're um cultivating your energy, you're working on yourself, my nigga. Like, yo, you're working on other parts of your life as well. You're learning how to communicate. You know, you're learning how to uh read energy, read body language. You know what I'm saying? Coupled with all of that, and now you looking like a god, nigga? You literally looking like a god. Something out of a fucking movie. A motherfucker, I remember I was outside one time, a nigga see me. I don't even like to walk outside with my shirt off no more. I get way too much attention. I ain't no big dude either. I'm just, I'm just cut. I'm just cut. I'm not even like, I want to actually gain some muscle, dog. If y'all got any tips about how to gain some muscle, you just let me know in the comment section. But like, nigga, like, I go outside, next is turning, I see cars moving and stopping and shit. I'm talking about like stopping and, oh, bro, oh, my bad, bro. I thought you was somebody else. Yeah, bro, I'm looking like a motherfucker, something out of a movie, nigga. I'm looking like Black Panther, nigga. What kind of forever, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Black Panther, uh, Black Panther 2 coming out soon, nigga. I ain't finna watch that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, because I'm the Black Panther, nigga. The fuck? My inner world gonna fuck up this, gonna fuck up the game. If I allow my inner world to come out. You feel me? That's that, that that's the inner world sag, by the way. But um, real shit, guys. Let's be real, though. You continue to, to work on yourself for real, though. Your body will continue to develop. It's gonna get to the point where you look like a lot of these YouTubers that got motherfucking... 500,000 subscribers and like they bodies and their games, their games is like your games is going to look just a little different. It's going to have your own energy signature with it, bro. Me, I don't take, I don't take no, uh, uh, what you call them shits? I don't take no, uh, st steroids or nothing. No type of enhancements. The only enhancements that I'm doing, my nigga, besides the vitamins and minerals and shit, is going within, holding on to my sexual energy, the pop, the most powerful energy that known to mankind, low key, when it comes to pleasure and things of that nature and ushering another soul into, into this uh, reality. But bro, the easiest way 
in the meantime, and I'm not saying the only reason why I started a video off talking about the easiest way to get in the female's mind is because they already living in ours. There's women that we never seen before. I know that's going to come with the same female nature, brother. They gonna come with the same female nature, nigga. Like, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's just different varieties, motherfucker. They be like, God damn, like, it's just, it's the same nature. As long as they have a fucking vagina and they go through what women go through. Women, like, y'all have to understand as a guy, women love emotional, like, roller coasters, nigga, up and down face asses. They love that shit, okay? They're emotional creatures. Y'all boys need to learn how to not not press certain buttons, but be able to communicate and 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 when I say communicate, I'm talking about like non-verbally, bro. Because like I said, eighty percent of how females communicate with you is non-fucking verbal. So if y'all know how to learn that non-verbal language, nigga, when she's ready to become emotional about emotional about some shit, you see this shit coming. You know what time it is. You stay in your masculine fucking frame. You feel me? You have cultivated energy. So whenever she starts to act emotional, she can act emotional all she wants to. But guess what? You are the forbidden fruit. The second you take, if y'all having an argument, the second you take your shirt off and you just walk past her on some thirst trap shit, whether she reacts to it or not, she reacted to it. You're in her fucking mind. It's just like, oh, why aren't you bending to my will? And she's going to grab you and then she's gonna go fucking crazy on your ass she's gonna go ape shit crazy bro why because you have confidence within your own self your own energy and you look good nigga pause but you look great you got the mind the mental with it too and you're not oh baby when we gonna fuck oh baby can i hit it from the back oh baby when are we gonna eat that pussy baby i mean i miss that pussy boy you sound like a fucking like stop it you are the guy. You are the man. You're not supposed to be begging for shit, nigga. Look at, your, look at yourself. Look at your energy. Look at your body and see, do you deserve shit like that in the first place? Let's be real, bro. You would like, dog, but y'all, listen, y'all have to understand, too. There is a level of uh, uh, being humble that comes with um, being this type of guy. Because there's not a lot of guys that's like this shit. Like, we're... They, like, we are rare as fuck, okay? We are rare as fuck when it comes to a person who is actually taking care of their body, doing what they got to do, eating right, doing all the things that you're supposed to do, bro. Like, yeah, that's cool. But when you, cu when, when you couple that with the spiritual practice of retaining your energy, that life force energy, our life essence, that's our God energy, bro. That's our God energy. And, and, and like since you know what I'm saying we were taught like okay it's just whatever you could you make so much semen and shit it's like whatever you can keep wasting this shit you keep wasting this shit and not knowing like my nigga it's it, there's more benefits and other other ways you can use that life force energy without actually having sex and without actually releasing your seed the longer you you hold on to your life force essence bro do you know how hard you gonna glow do you know you will literally become the forbidden fruit? It's going to be women that are married, bro, for years. that are, Like, they're going to see you one time and that's it. You just do it for them. You know what I'm saying? I It's not a, it's bro, it's not fair. Like, it's not fair to the guy who's married to the a woman who's going to, who's going to essentially try to touch you and fuck with you and be like, that is, you know, small talk. It's not fair, but... Nigga, like, that's just, the, that's how powerful it is, like, when you retain your energy because you are your own unique person. No one can copy what you do. That's the beauty of it when you retain your energy, dog. Like, you become your own unique person. You was already unique in the first place. But, my nigga, there's so many different ways and avenues and so many combinations of just things that you could put together, my nigga. Ideas, bro. With this whole creative energy, bro. It's it's not just semen. It's not just oh sh uh, shoot out because I'm ha I'm horny. Like no nigga, that's a magic potion that, that literally can be recycled through your body, my nigga. Just the presence of having it inside of you. <laughs> you feel me? And then and then of course, like I said, you know, 
there's there's a lot of minerals. There's there's literally there's literally a lot of minerals and vitamins within that goddamn fluid, bro. On top of that, so when you so when you are retaining, you working out and shit, yo, just be that, yo, be be the sex symbol for real, my nigga. Be that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying indulge in being lustful and all that stuff. You feel me? But you gotta understand, we live in a demonic world. OK, and we got to we have to learn how to counter certain things and not feel like we are throwing ourselves away or throwing our soul away. You know what I'm saying? Just to be just to be like a part of or just to, you know, what I'm saying, because I feel like niggas throw their souls away. Forget what the fuck they was, uh, you know, what I'm saying practicing as far as like the spirituality of, of this shit. They get lost and get caught up in another bitch's uh, gravity. And guess what? Now they got to live their life through somebody else's reality. I don't want to do that. That's why I'm retaining my damn energy. And I'm and I have more thought power, my nigga. Like I have more time to process shit. Be like, okay, this is the type of women I'm the woman I know I'm gonna be attracted to. I know I deserve to uh, be with. Bro, I'm at the gym, I'm seeing all type of chicks with slim waists and, and fat asses. Now, some niggas will be like, oh bro, you're lusting. No, I'm not lusting, bro. Like literally every guy, I don't give a fuck who you are. You see a female with a beautiful body that's working out, like she don't need to work out, bitch. Like, bitch, you you can go home. Bitch still at the gym. Ass fatter than ever. Um abs looking arms, all of that shit, bro. Everything is looking on point, bro. That shit there, bro. When I see a female who's continuously working on herself, bro, that makes her way more attractive. Bro, I wanna I dare I say it, I wanna shoot my shot. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So like Everywhere I go, everywhere we go as guys, like as a heterosexual straight guy, okay, we don't have much to our uh, to our advantage when it comes to, you know, well, no, nah, we actually do have a lot to our advantage because a lot of niggas be, you know what I'm saying? But like, as far as leveling the playing field, you know, we, we don't dress provocative. It's not normal for a heterosexual guy to dr kind of dress like that. You know what I'm saying? So with the with the fact that women do what they want to do as far as how they want to carry themselves, that's fine. But, you know, once we have that mastered, cultivated energy for real, for real, my guy, this shit is over with. Now you look like a nigga who is quote unquote toxic or you look like you get so many hoes or you look this fuck it, look the part, my nigga. But you don't actually have to go out there and get lost in somebody else's gravity. But I understand you become the gravity. I understand you know you, you God body. You are, you are that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let and don't let a chick that curves you or you know you think something's going good like you and it doesn't happen. Like don't let that shit discourage you at all type shit because that's one individual. How many people we have on the face of this planet? A whole bunch. But yeah, without saying too much, man, I'm going to end this video for today. If you got that guy body, you feel me? Drop a 100 emoji in the comment section. With, I ain't going to lie. The camera cut off like five times just now. I'm trying to end the fucking video. But yeah, man, drop a 100, 100 emoji with the little strong arms just to let me know if you know what I'm saying. You got that guy body, you feel me? But yeah, it's me, your boy Moody Star. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.